Dar es Salaam is currently facing a significant challenge in terms of providing safe and hygienic sanitation services to all citizens. And this is a city of more than 6.5 million people. It is estimated that 95% of the population have their toilets connected to on-site sanitation systems, which typically mean pit latrines and septic tanks that are not connected to any form of centralised sewerage network nor wastewater treatment system. So what happens when those pit latrines and septic tanks are full? Tulikuwa tumeunganisha tu mabomba yanaenda kwenye mtu huu mtu wa mlala kuu. Tunasubiri kipindi cha mvua kikinyesha tunatirisha ile maji kupitia vyanzo vya mitaa. Sasa tukatumia tu foja ili tukaweka mamipira yakawa yanaenda huko bondeni kwenye huu mtu wa mlala kuu. Illegal and unhygienic uh, methods are common practice for low income households who often have no other alternative. 50% of, uh, of the uh, household do practice uh, manual emptying. People do use uh, buckets and heads and hands during the uh, pit emptying. So in response to this situation, Border Tanzania and Ifakara Health Institute have undertaken this four-year project called Dewats for Da. This project was funded by UK Aid through the Human Development Innovation Fund, HDIF, as well as the German Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, the BMZ. So the baseline survey was conducted by Fakara in 2017 and 2018 with regards to Mburahati and the wireless uh, where the plants have been constructed. Within this project, we constructed two decentralized fecal sludge treatment plants, one in the community of Mburahati, which is in the municipality of Ubungo, and a second in the community of Wireless, which is in the municipality of Temeke. In this FSM project, we implemented systems which follow the Dewats approach. The Dewats approach is focusing on using treatment technologies with a low requirement for operation and maintenance. They operate without electrical energy and without using complex mechanical equipment. So the main issue is like for we designers, we are designing but thinking of the operators in mind because uh, making the, 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 the fecal treatment plant as simple as possible to operate but as robust as possible. But also as simple to maintain as possible. Not maintenance free but as simple as possible. The solutions developed within this project aim to consider the entire fecal sludge management or FSM value chain from the household user interface, containment, emptying, transportation, treatment and disposal or reuse of byproducts such as biogas, biosolids and nutrient rich water for irrigation. In the first place, these facilities are constructed in areas, uh, in the build-up areas. So in one area, it was really a challenge. Getting land for the facilities is really a challenge. And given that uh, these facilities are quite new technologies, quite new interventions, people thought of all the orders and nuisance after construction of the facilities. Now they can witness and see that these facilities can, can actually coexist in their in their compounds. Hawa watu wa mradi walituelewesha kama wananchi na tukakubaliana kwamba huu mradi uwepo katika eneo letu ili uweze kutuletea usafi. In addition to the construction of the treatment facilities, we established a team of professional service providers who use small scale vehicles and innovative pit emptying equipment to provide alternative and affordable fecal sludge solutions. Kwa vifadi tunavyo tumia, tunatumia toyo, tunavisha tenki yenye ujazo wa lita elfu moja kwa samani ya shinge elfu kumina tano. Gali yetu ujazo wake elite elfu tatu na mia saba. Tunawachaji elfu amsini kwa smart yeli ambayo labda hiko mlalakua, mblati na wireless. Mteja akitaji huduma, kama ametupigia simu au amekuja mwenyewe huwa kwanza tunahitaji twende tukaangalie sehemu ya chochake kwamba panafikika ama hapafikiki 
mtaalamu wetu anaenda kule anapima anaangalia mazingira ya tembo mbinu akishajiridhisha sasa anakuja kwa ajili ya kuchukua kifaa so within this project we tried certain combinations of emptying and transportation equipment we had several pump systems to empty the pits we tested mud pumps and trash pumps for more the liquid sludge for the septage and we also had another uh, system which is uh, innovative uh, vacuum pump called evac all this equipment we tried in the very inaccessible areas because they have the advantage of being very mobile and uh, we tested this equipment and also provided trainings for the private entrepreneurs and the operators of the systems we collected the data and uh, tried to further develop the methods we also tried a combination of the evac and the vacuum truck we used the evac to pump the sludge out of the pit to the ground level and then the vacuum truck would pump the sludge uh, from the pit horizontally up to the road and thus reduces the amount of manual work. kabla ya huu mradi nilikuwa natumia gari la watu binafsi. Yaani kama ukisema kama una shida usema kwamba waje labda saa mbili asubuhi kuja saa mbili aweze kufika muda ule mpaka kwenye saa saba mpaka jioni au gari likachukua sehemu mwingine likuja kufuata na wewe. Changamoto tunazopata unaweza ukatoka mfano labda Mbagara. Unatoka mbali wote hakuna sehemu ya kumwaga mpaka unafika kurasini. Kwa hiyo inachukua muda mrefu sana kuna pengine kuna mteja mwingine anakutafuta unachukua muda mrefu paka yeye ana gari anatafuta gari nyingine lakini watu wa boda pale utapotoa tu taarifa basi ujue ni mara moja umeshakuja eneo la tukio wanafanya kutoa maji yao tashukuru kwa kupata umradi umetufa umetufanisha yani kwamba tu, tusihangaike sababu mwanzo kwa tangaza tunapiga simu magari hayaji kwa wakati kwa sasa hivi hapa tunakuja kwa kati gari inakuja kwa kushaenda au kupiga simu ufasa washa fika tumeuchagua mradi kwa sababu upo karibu na nyumbani inatusaidia hata kama hivi labda unaweza choko kimekuta usiku mmelala asubuhi mmekuta akipo kwenye hali nzuri ni rahisi hata sio kupiga simu yani unaenda mwenyewe ni karibu yani wengi tulio kwa wengi yani vyo vyao ni vibovu hapo njia barabara mbovu kwa hiyo boda kidogo imekuja kurahisisha kwa kwa kila kila mtanzania pale alipo inamfuata huduma hii inampata awe chini awe juu awe bondeni mimi namfuata pale naenda kumfanya kumtolea huduma ya bodi huu mradi ulivyofika mahali hapa hata ule uchukuaji wa maji taka hapo majibani kwetu ni bei nafuu tofauti na siku za nyuma hizo mpaka tukaamua kuweka hayo mabomba kwa sababu yalikuwa yanakuja yale magari makubwa hela ni nyingi lakini hivi vigari vidogo vinaweza kupita kila mtaa vimeturahisishia hata maisha sehemu ambazo wazingiki na gari kwa mradi huu ina maana toyo zinafanya kazi hadi kuingia sehemu husika na madumu yanatumika kuingia ndani zaidi kwa imepelekea sasa ule utapishaji wa choo kwa sasa hivi wa vyo kwa ujumla kupungua A sisi kama viongozi tunaisimamia hii sheria ya utunzaji wa majitaka kwa kuhakikisha wananchi hawatililishi majitaka kama sheria inavyosema kwamba mwananchi hatakiwi kutililisha majitaka lakini changamoto ndio inakuja sasa ni ambapo kwamba mtu yuko katikati huko ni uswairini choki na jaa anafanyaje tulishindwa kutekeleza sheria kwa sababu unaenda kumkamata mtu anatiririsha majitaka hasa anakwambia mimi ni yapeleke wapi uwezo wangu mdogo nitafanya nini kwa unashindwa kuchukua sheria na ukimwangalia kweli mtu maisha yake ni magumu kipato chake cha siku shilingi 2000 mbili kwa hiyo tulishindwa kwa hilo kwa hiyo baada ya kupata mradi sasa hivi tuna uwezo tunaamua kwa nani atilisha maji mataka tunawaambia leta final form 50 tunaendelea na utaratibu na sheria nyingine tunazifuatilia after starting the operation community were not ready to pay fee most of community member they were expected that if having the project in their area that means we are going to do emptying for free but after sitting with leaders and community member also aware them about the operation cost community accept and 
ready to pay for the service. We had radio campaigns, we went with the loudspeakers through the communities, uh, uh, raising their awareness that this service is now available. In addition, we adjusted the price for the service to a level that the households were able and willing to pay this price. But also we, we, we install some posters in the community, especially in the key areas. Those most famous places, we install some sign which explain the service and uh, this, the number, yes, to call so that you can get the service. Uzoefu unaonyesha kuna mahusiano makubwa kati ya huduma ya taka ngumu na utunzaji wa maji taka. Kwamba kama jamii ikiwa haina mifumo mizuri ya utunzaji wa taka ngumu, taka hizo huishia katika vyo vya shimo na septic tanks. Hivyo uongeza gharama kwa anayehitaji huduma kwani mtoa huduma itabidi ampachaji fine kwa ajili ya utoaji wa taka ngumu chooni lakini pia uongeza gharama za uendeshaji kwani taka zinatakiwa zitunzwe kabla ya kusafirishwa na kupelekwa dampo na uelimishaji huu ulitolewa chini ya kauli mbiu iliyosema cho rafiki nyonya kistarabu hali ya afya katika mtaa wetu huku ni hali nzuri kwa sababu kipindi hicho kabla huu mradi haujakuepo maji alikuwa natilika barabarani ina maana watoto wanakanyaga na sisi watu wazima tunakanyaga Magonjwa ya matumbo yalikuwa yapungui huku kwetu lakini tangia huu mradi umekuepo kwa kweli hali ya kiafya ni nzuri tena inaridhisha. Mborahati was used as a demonstration system so a stakeholder from all different backgrounds from academia, national agencies but also from the private sector were brought to the site and could experience how FSM is working. This operational model considers the market value of each product and service along the FSM value chain. To increase opportunities for cost recovery and financial sustainability, um, while at the same time seeking to empower local entrepreneurs to solve community sanitation challenges in a professional and financially sustainable way. kabla boda sijaingia boda ilikuwa nafanya kazi kambu tisina, gloves tisina, mask tisina, mwana dawa zenyewe za kuna wii hamna alikuwa unatumia tu kiolela kwa hiyo pale ilikuwa kidogo afya yangu ina nashukuru lakini kwa sasa hivi naendelea vizuri nafanya kazi vizuri bila wasiwasi wote baada ya kuanza huu mradi hata, hata familia nyumbani tunapowarushia hela kwamba hii ni ah itawasaidia sehemu fulani yani wanashukuru kwa kweli wanajua mtoto wetu kwa kweli amekuwa ameenda kutafuta Changamoto zingine tunazokutana nazo ni mradi ni mdogo eneo ni kubwa kama barafu ni kubwa ila eneo la kuchakachua maji ni, ni padogo kwa hiyo nakuta ikizi mahitaji ya wananchi wote kwa hiyo nini kifanyike ili uendelevu na usambazaji wa miradi kama hii ifanyike kwa Tanzania kwa maoni yangu mimi ningeomba kujengwe miradi mingine mikubwa ili iweze kutusheleza ma, mahitaji ya wananchi natakiwa mradi ili uwe endelevu unatakiwa usimamiwe na taasisi fulani it is the wasa's responsibility to oversee um, water supply and sanitation, sanitation services within the city now that the, the facility has been constructed definitely the wasa will have to take charge as we uh, move to increase coverage of sanitation services in the city at least we have somewhere to start with these facilities pamoja na kwamba dawasa ni wasimamizi wa huduma wa utunzaji wa maji taka ni muhimu majukumu ya wadau wengine yajulikane kwa mfano yapi ni majukumu ya wasimamizi wa viwango wadhibiti na wadau mbalimbali katika swala la utunzaji wa maji taka We are planning to construct similar facilities so taking in, taking charge of the operation at this moment in the first place will uh, will have continued because we were involved in the implementation process as partners now that we are required by legislation that we have to take over we really have to take over because we know where to start now in any case going to those low income communities you have to go with decentralized facilities We believe that decentralized sanitation solutions are an essential component of citywide inclusive sanitation, particularly in rapidly growing cities like Dar es Salaam, which is currently one of the fastest growing cities in Africa, and where conventional approaches such as underground sewerage networks simply cannot keep up with the rapid urban growth.